This is Matt with Learn About Law, and in this video I'm going to discuss prenuptial agreements in Iowa. So, prenuptial agreements in Iowa are not just for the wealthy. They offer a way for couples to plan ahead for uncertainties and avoid future conflicts should something happen with their marriages. The agreement determines how the people's property will be handled during the marriage and what will happen to it upon divorce. The agreement becomes effective once the marriage happens. Prenuptial agreements are especially important to consider if the parties to a marriage enter into the marriage with assets such as real estate, retirement accounts, or businesses that they would not want to lose should they separate from their spouse. Additionally, people with children from prior marriages may want to consider them to protect any inheritance for the children. A question that comes up a lot regarding prenups is whether the contract can determine child custody and support in the event of a divorce. In Iowa, as in post states, a prenuptial agreement can never determine child support or child custody. The rationale behind this is that child support is support for the child, not the parents. A couple can't restrict a child's future rights by a contract. While parents may agree to a sum for the child support upon separation or divorce, the court still ultimately approves the agreement, ensuring that it meets the child's needs. Under what circumstances will a court throw out a prenuptial agreement? Generally, courts will throw out prenuptial agreements only in limited circumstances, such as one spouse doesn't voluntarily sign the agreement, the agreement is determined to be faulty, fraudulent, or impossible to follow when it is signed. Or a spouse didn't disclose their assets and debts to the other when the agreement was signed, and the other spouse didn't have or couldn't have that financial information. In other words, one spouse hides financials from the other. The court will decide whether an agreement is impossible to follow. This means that the bargaining power is so unfair that one spouse is essentially getting a fundamentally unfair deal that they had no choice to take. Simply having different financial circumstances will not make the agreement unrealistic or impossible to follow. A spouse can waive their right to receive the other's financial information, but courts are often skeptical of these agreements and may invalidate the contract. Courts are hesitant of prenuptial agreements that completely eliminate one spouse's obligations to the other upon divorce. While it's technically legal, the courts rarely support when one spouse signs away their rights. In circumstances where a court does decide certain provisions in the prenuptial agreement aren't enforceable, the court does not have to throw out the entire contract. The court can throw out individual provisions, keeping the rest of the agreement. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out the article linked below, and be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments, and subscribe for more legal content daily.